Cards are up. As Cards are up. you remain in the last throes of sleep of the morning, you find yourself drifting through a dream. You're playing a game not unlike chess. Some kind of strange checkered board and pieces scattered all around. But the board, the board is multi-sided. Beside you on your sides sit Arn, Pascal, Cyrus. Those who are unquestioningly loyal to Gwyn and the quest to restore the kingdom are beside you. More are beyond that you can't see. Faces that you only assume exist somewhere out there. Perhaps some lost bannermen long gone or forgotten. To the left of you, on the left side of the board, sits an imperial soldier. His face bears a telltale imperial-style mustache. He's no one you recognize, no one in particular, but a kind of sulfurous smoke slowly curls out of his nostrils, and the ends of his mustache seem to glow like embers. Behind him lurk two men in long coats and tall hats, silhouettes you have come to infamously know as that of an inquisitor. To your right, at the right of the table, sits a nobleman of sorts. Your mind tries to read who or what this is, and you come up with Baron. The face keeps changing, shifting through well-coiffed haircuts and a variety of exquisite outfits, but never lands on any one thing. Behind him stands a brace of men and a forest. The men wearing full helmets and full plate, but common equipment for common fighting men. Directly across from you sits a very strange being indeed. A three-headed humanoid, one male head on each side that seem to constantly bicker with one another, while a female head in the center slumps forward and downward, long unkempt hair obscuring her face near entirely, and the skull rocks side to side, listless. The features of the two arguing heads generally match up with how familiar you are with them. You recognize them as the brothers... Amim and Kovaz Radab. As the dream unfolds, each of you begin to take turns moving pieces on the board. Some pieces are seen and some unseen, not until a hand moves to grasp the piece and it can be known to exist at all. Looking down at the board, you see also that some of the pieces move on their own. Familiar shapes. Familiar friends or acquaintances. Seraphis, Mirandel, Cade, and others move across the board in their own way, some seeming to help your position, others seemingly just to try and stay on the board and avoid capture. The game progresses for some long moments, but in the middle of the game, something happens. The dream goes silent. The board and the players go still, and in the middle of the board, a singular hand interrupts the game and places a card quietly onto the board. A card, not a piece. A telltale purple-skinned drow hand draws back to reveal the card, which bears a sneering joker's face and a dagger in each hand and you awake
Really good too. Fucking point of that. To test work. I took like a week. What a waste of fucking steel. One shriek. Yeah, everything okay? You can see the shattered remains of a steel safe spread out all over the center of the forge. <sighs> We've been working on this for fucking weeks. What is this? Yes, well, the uh, pirate bitch and her henchmen showed up and decided to test my work, so to speak, and destroyed it. Now they want three fucking more. I'll make them their saves. <clears throat> we don't have the iron for it. They're supplying it. Oh, how nice of them. I mean... What we can get back from this is that we can keep. Here, then. Just drag it over by the table if you'd be so kind. I'll have to <clears> have <throat> it dismantled. Want me to work on that? <sighs> Try my best. You're a bit small, Severick. It's gonna need to be broken down with a sledgehammer. <clears throat> need to know where's the armor. Come on, uh, wait. <clears throat> strap it here. The what? The armor. He's headed that way. <coughs> soon. Um, the house behind this one is the one he lives in. He might be inside. He will check. But he's given some very uncomfortable news. Just to clarify with you, Arn, for the uh, price of the reduction in materials. Come out for days and just dump it on into the fucking oven so they could say they fed the fish. Shriek, at one point, sometimes they could talk to you and maybe Tazim, if Tazim's not busy. <clears throat> if we're not busy, yeah. For the safe right. they just paid you for, it would have been at least 15 silver. Now this still funds 15. <laughs> you were saying, uncomfortable news. The guard broke into the guild. Yes, I heard about that, actually. And ransacked everything. Isn't that something you'll be able to hold them accountable for, considering your backing? Oh, hey, you. Well, Miss Moon. Don't worry that. If you're worried Sleep well. for you, and if anyone trouble you, no, I shall be entering. <laughs> Quite a few people. Oh, I slept well. Should the door come to tumble, for most part, those uh, are responsible to not be nice. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. From here, I'll ensure it. Yeah. You understood me. Yes. Yeah. Very well. Do you need me? Oh, we should do more spear training at some point. Maybe get T and the rest. Just everything's been busy lately. Pressure's on now. And a fair morning. You as well. Again, the long beard should be in the house behind if you need him. Oh, 
Okay, I need to uh, talk about something in private. Let it not be at that time. Should I come in here? Let's busy. Yeah, come on in. We'll talk. Uh, uh, okay. But if you keep whispering at me like a weird spider person, I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> Zim, after that, if you're not busy, I'd like to have a talk to you. Is it terribly important, Severick, or is it another terrible idea? Uh, it could be something helpful. It's when you're available. If not, I can talk about it with Shriek and probably let you know. Congratulations, Shriek. You've been delegated. You know, I'm not, we're all allies and such now, you know, so, last night, um, you know, I was stalking around, looking for any injustice, and then I, I followed a man to the docks, and then it turns out that he had uh, a crate full of Gradian spice, but then also... What, what docks? Uh, like our docks, like the Nodis docks. Here? Yeah. In Nodis, what what time of day was this? Oh, it was late at night. But also, um, they were reading a note. I was able to get a look at it, and I was able to transcribe my own copy of it. Um, on it reads, "Sell incoming shipment the day after tomorrow. Boxes marked with X on corners. Large order. Bring Carlissa for transport. Move at sundown." Guard will be informed to let guard past gates. Do not fuck up. Marked L. Read this. It's all, it's all. And you said that was at these docks here. These docks. <clears throat> that had to have been after. No, before. Which means they must have shuttled out some rowboats as they passed. Mm. And when we left, we missed them. <clears throat> Makes sense. So, Copy this. Coming Shimon day after tomorrow. Day after oh. tomorrow. Did they specify where? Uh, I'm not exactly sure where. Although the contact is apparently Carlissa. And the Carlos. author of the note is L. Actually, I'll send, uh, I'll send a copy to, to, uh, move that's an so, and that's an inbound shipment as well. That would mean tomorrow, no? If it was the day after tomorrow and they said that yesterday. I, I think they're coming in through multiple entry points. I think what we're looking at might be the major drop-off, but they're trying to cycle some of it into town. It's possible. You want this upstairs? Yeah, keep our copy in the study. Name of import, Carlissa. What I think is that there is a small shoot off from this smuggling ship that is bringing some of the product into Nordis itself via the docks at night. What we're tracking is the actual ship itself. We found the docks they go to. <clears throat> They're clever. It's hidden near the Temple of Asari. You need to find out who is bringing those goods directly into this town. And we need to start dismantling them one by one. When that shipment is to be made, you need to find out where and when and grab this person. This... Carlissa, whatever Carlissa. her name is. Oh, oh, I'm 
understand. We're gonna want to interrogate them. We'll get started once in that case. Thank you. Good. Oh. Get to it. Thank you. Well done, Marin. Thank you, thank you. We'll let them handle the small shoot-offs that are coming to the town itself. We're going to be dealing with the ship. Hmm. There is no telling how many people are on it. Or what we should do while it's in port. Our best bet might be to wait until it leaves the port and then strike. That would be most of well, we just need proof. a lot of the manpower. <clears throat> How do I we get to be honest, my son? We could use a ship. Hmm. But something like that could have anywhere from 40 plus men on it. <clears throat> We have the gold. We could hire mercenaries, but this could turn into a whole ordeal if it goes wrong. And my biggest issue that hesitates my hand is who's fucking sending the ship. <clears throat> it's from Black Rock, so no one good. But the point is, are they embedded enough where losing a ship will scare them or make them show up with more? Well, at that point, we've disrupted their operations, we've proved them to be unreliable. Maybe that might shake the captain's faith in them. Or the capitano's faith in them. Maybe. And we would have our ship. But what I'm saying about is the response from whoever's sending them at Black Rock. Yeah. It would be... Intense. They don't like having those operations interrupted. They make an example. Unless we make this look like this was an operation conducted by the Redards. Hear me out. We do this the way that we want to do it. But again, Gerbaum will be coming with us to be a Mem's eyes. He is already an informant for the Baron. That will be proof enough. That will allow us, after we do this, to get the Capitano put in chains. If it looks like the people on this end of the deal are being eradicated by the barony would they not assume that the province is lost the corruption cut out <clears throat> you're right it's not a competitor it's not another smaller group it's the literal local government they try and get their hands back into it try and get their claws back into everything but it wouldn't be on a level of retaliation so to speak it would be a smaller see if we can rebuild what we lost kind of thing we might be okay. Someone's <clears throat> knocking at the door. It's worth a thought. Well. God, this whole operation requires us to do one thing after the other, after the other, after the other. Yeah. And bring <clears throat> it all at once to the Baron. It has me very worried.
looked pretty rough these last few days. All right. To be honest, Stretch, I'm uh, tired, yeah, full of that. wounds that are slowly healing. Uh, if I see them again, I'll have some them. Mm. I got I'll shot by a fucking Imperial two days ago. <clears throat> That's fair. In the meantime, I need to bother the... Uh, I only saw you get dragged out of there. <laughs> oh, and I also need to buy wax yeah. from you. Well, but blacksmiths are more likely to run away, so hold on. And they figured it out, so they gave me a piece of their mind. If you have time today, I drop off Hello. The Did you happen to be able to work on those little, um, the buckles for me or not yet? Yeah. Uh, for you over here. <coughs> oh, you're so quiet. <coughs> Sorry, I was thinking. I mean, I don't need much money. You say you don't ah, okay. Is that better or do oh, I need to... Nice. Bump up my voice. Uh, I, I upped you a little bit. You're fine. You're fine. Okay. Doing okay? What? Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah. Everything's uh, seeming to be going okay. Hmm. The cards were looking for Marin earlier. I don't know why, but she's still walking about, so I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe warn her yeah. if you can. That's the most interesting thing today. We might meet, need you later. Yeah, I probably won't do that. I trust Ooh! Alright, cool! I'm done for whatever, just find me. Not hard you to find. <laughs> Alright, cool! I'll uh, see you around. You actually, you know what? Could I actually put down uh, another order for four more bottles <clears throat> just in case he's in the future? We're really low on iron right now. We wouldn't be able to. Well, actually, I don't know if you're in any yeah. All right. Let me know when you're not super, super low, and then I'll pre-order. You got it. Yeah, it's not emergency yet, so thank you. All right. I'm gonna go uh, you find our friend. The last one. I didn't know if you were going on this one. Yeah. If I'm needed, I will. I'm not exactly excited to, but if it turns out they need someone to assist, I'll have steel plate soon, so I'd be happy to. And yeah, if you see the max fellow, as long as you don't have your heart give out walking there. I mean, I'm all that fucking old, Dredge. I see you walking around like a, with a stick, like one of the. Uh, the elders. Have you ever uh, been shot before? No. It fucking sucks. If it doesn't go clean uh, in and out, if it hits a bone, it bounces around inside of you, slapping the shit out of your guts. That's that's wretched. That's what I mean. It's awful. I'll try not to be too old around you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, uh, you're I was thinking the crossbows were bad. Well, I understand there's supposed to be a meeting about this stuff today. If I hear about it, I will let you know, so you're in on it. Ah, grazie. Good. I don't know if, uh... Yes, I know. That is why I think I Moses would probably go again. If I not, think pretty easy last there's time. There's a risk of harm. If I am, well, well as long as, uh, no one is as long as she follows instructions when we're out in the field, it won't be a problem. And we won't go mixing weird potions. I think that would happen. Well, there's nothing to worry about. And I'd be happy to help you, mm. Judge. Grazie. Well, arrivederci. We should get drinks Take sometime. Care. Oh god. And wind up in another spider cave. You know, the more I hear about this, the more I'm glad I didn't somehow get roped in with you on that. I heard the spiders were as big as the horses. One second. They order stuff on the road normally? That's what they were talking about. Hurry up, leather worker. Seems about to deal with. Stop bothering the captain. I see. Uh, well, best of luck. There we go. A kind of. See. Hasn't blushed.
He was saying something. Uh, oh, right. Drink. Me and Clifford pitched together and got a throwing board for the tavern. <sighs> Can toss a knife around. Someone's yeah, I'm not busy. Sure, sure. Sure. Come on. No, I'm, I'm just whispering. Fight. It has doesn't been need to be the meeting now. I'm just this. Is... All right, that works too. Knows how to use a knife. I'm sure it'd be fine. It's very good. Gods were here yeah. early. This is something else besides the thing I want to talk to you too. We can do that in here too as well. But when you were in here talking to Miss Man and I was going out, just going to start moving little bits of metal from the safe and the Capitano and one of the lieutenants came by. Apparently they're looking for, I don't know, some sort of supply shipment. And they're going to be, sounds like they're going to be busting down on people very hard. Hmm. And... So we're looking for Marin. As soon as she was out, I pulled her to the side, let her know. Good. Make sure she wasn't alone. What did you want to talk about? Um. The other thing is something of semi importance. Um. I trust you and Tazim enough. I more wanted to see if what Tazim thought of it, but it's a potential acquaintance I know. Uh, and the acquaintance I know through knowing is through free, uh, let's just say people, if you understand my meaning, those who shouldn't be kept. And, uh, well, this person I work with, they could potentially help us. How? What can they offer us? Well, me and them have been... Me and them have been working together to free people for a long time. Past couple of years. I just wanted to hear Tazim and your thoughts on it first, and it's a risk to me even telling you about this. To who? The only reason I tell is because I trust you enough. To me, them... Because if, say, we were to get caught, or if... I don't know. You could ruin our lives with it. Novels don't really like it when their property is freed. Right. <clears throat> I don't think bringing someone else on board right now is a great idea. Hmm. Especially it's someone that's been I trust you guys free enough. slaves. Which is probably the biggest trade, if not Serenity and Spice in Gradio. Yep. It's just something I was going to bring up with Tazine. I trust them enough that, you know, he wouldn't go around ratting on us. I've talked with him. I mean, he doesn't seem to like the concept of slaves. No, but we also have our priorities. I don't tell many people this because, you know, it's dangerous. Hmm. I'm not saying as in that you can help us, but I'm just saying that we could potentially, they could help us in the future. I know them well enough. Hmm. I haven't told them anything. Well, keep them at arm's length, but keep them in case we need them for something. Don't get them involved with anything yet. I have no idea of anything that's going on in this building. Keep it that way. All I know is I'm around here learning how to do blacksmithing. Hmm. We'll consider them an asset for now, but not involved with us. I'll bring out with Tazim when I speak with him next. See what he thinks about it. Understood. If you need anything, just feel free to let me know and I can come back. Mm hmm. And as I said, please.
keep this secret. I've, there's only a couple others who know of this, and it's very dangerous knowledge. Out of everyone know, in this room. Uh, everyone here knows. Yes, I know. I speak the less. The least, even. I know. Her bitch and two of her thugs came over and decided to test my work by destroying good steel that I've been working on for over a week. They were able to shatter steel. With what? They were here with a hot minute for several steel sledgehammers. Oh, Peter. I see. They also did it all with right the fucking then. door open, so of course the integrity is not going to be on all four sides. It was fucking open. Well, that's some... <laughs> What's the... Oh my god, that... I'm not a demand. I've got bad minutes. news. Can you breathe I with all the... I see. Right? So I have to get I have, that uh, good... Around. Good and bad news. What you there? see um, here? We're noticing anything so strange last night. Depends good on what news you mean by strange. But... No, anything anything around the rooftops? Them. No. Between Markle and Why? myself, it looks like right now we've got... Right. 72 pieces. I'm going to be following a trail. There might be one person that we know. Vague, it's warrior. not. Figured you, figured you might have known something given it was last night. Good to see you, Did they have a I was out and about. They've lost their iron supply. Alright. Packed up and left. I was going to ask Sarah the same question. I know that you guys are night owls. Hmm. Have you seen her at all? Not today. Not since last night. But she might have been around. Alright. See what I can do. And thank you anyway. Strange, I thought that they got their supplies from, well, you know. Why would that stop if it's wagons? <clears throat> so, more steel, right? Yes. Definitely more steel, hopefully. Hopefully. We need more iron. You said you need to talk about the issue with steel, we can inside. All right. I'll have a matter as well, Tazim. I suppose I should get to work. And I'll probably require... Uh, Shriek, do you need to do anything around the forge today? If not, I'm just gonna make some charcoal for... Uh, we have Papa. fucking jack shit to do right now, because we have fuck all iron, so... Just, uh... Alright. See if you can break down the it's safe, I guess. I'll give it a try. I'll do that while the charcoal's made. made. Oh, I have not seen him. Alright. Probably for the best. As for what I was going to say. As for what I was going to say. Marin came in here this morning. We think that oh, two things. Last night, while Sharik and I were talking on the docks, we saw, or he saw, I couldn't, a ship sail into the bay. It stuck to the opposite shore and it went all the way up the coast. We got on his horse and booked it farther inland. <clears throat> Clover bastards, the port, we know where it is, we just don't know how they're getting in and out. There has to be a road. The port's right next to the Temple of Asara, behind crags and rocks, just out of sight. He only noticed it because the mast came over the ridgeline. <coughs> hmm. No wonder nobody knows. Pilgrims and wagons go up and down the main road all the time, but there must be a way to the main road. I see. 
That being said, we think now they might be jettisoning smaller attached rowboats or boats to come to Nardis as they go up the bay. Marin last night discovered some people talking, receiving some shipments from a small boat, like the small ones we have at the dock here. And a note. The note was from somebody named L. The letter L. To somebody named Cassidy. I'm not Cassidy, sorry. Um, what was the name? So far, far, far. Come on, you fool. It started with a C. It did start with a C, and I'm thinking. Uh, Kalissa. Was it Kur... Kalissa. Carlissa, yes. A loud ting can be heard outside from metal. Sake. Fucking with my things, go check out. And moving. Oh, and I have fully completed now. <clears throat> These are the last two oh, parts for it. Clifford and Severic are breaking down the safe. X is carved into the corners of the box. Shit, when Marin checked the, the current out. shipment, it had Grody and Spice in it. I told Marin to keep looking into the docks. Very well. Be a moment, please. <sighs> sure. I like the uh, lunch lady hairstyle, by the way. Lunch lady hairstyle. <laughs> I beg you, should I hand that right over it? Looks really good. You know, I'm not even going to entertain you. Wow, Rodwin wouldn't take I'll that. Take that. You've entertained me by being here. Mm -hmm. God fucking shit. Did you have something, Mr. Well, uh, Harry? A nice contract. That got signed by one of my farmers. One that could hardly read or write. What does it say? Apparently, he decided to take a loan from Zenic of 33 silver. <coughs> one of your farmers. Let me and the man can hardly read or write. He had a co-signer of Carlos, who has gone missing. So now he's fully responsible for it. <sighs> and I guess they're being pressured to pay. Oh, they, he already came in bloody this morning. <sighs> Well, we've yet to figure out how to approach this Zenic issue. I'm not sure how to. I think it's something that you and Mark will be able to do. You have access to the building. Go in there and Mark confront him. Mark is convinced that we don't have enough tangible information to effectively blackmail him. And we have on top a of letter that, signed by his hand. Admitting to someone that he has not. We have a copy of the letter. Well, there's also the inferencing of the other letter where he's telling somebody that he'll have the coin and there's nothing to worry about it. It depends all on the testifying of Shilbrook. He is the one who took it as a courier mission. Mm -hmm. And he wasn't supposed to read it, was he? And I don't think he actually read it. But... It might still work, but we need to find a way that makes this equitable for him so he doesn't try to stab us in the back. Say again, somebody's gibbering in my ear. It might work, but we need to find a way to make this equitable for him so he doesn't try to stab us in the back or look for ways to well, weasel there, himself out. There's the equitable bit. We don't destroy his estate by spreading the information that 
one of the most wealthy merchants of Nodis has fucking nothing. Even if it was just a rumor that spread, if his creditors or the people he owes to started questioning or looking into him, and he could show nothing, he's dead. True. But then, what happens once he starts getting money under his belt? Hopefully by then we have the province under control. The whole point of this <sighs> is to remove the Capitano from the equation. Is there anything, anyone we could talk to that would help us with this? Is there anyone we can bring along that would be a significant presence during this conversation? I don't know. I honestly think we have enough to be completely frank. The man's panicked. Mm. You're also partners of the Merchants Guild. <clears throat> what if he tries to use Tordy against me? What if anyone tried to use Raylan against me? Uh, I guess. We'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. No. I don't like that answer. That's the way I had to operate. I need some... Uh, do, 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 do. Come on in. Because <laughs> until I'm here for something else, I'm going to be doing this. For the outcome, so they are able to help you deal with it. All right. So they can act with you. I made the mistake of trying to shield. I should have been fighting alongside them. And maybe I should bring her to this talk. She does have a connection to Sawtooth. But then the question is, do we want Sawtooth to know about this if we use that as a talking point? Sawtooth has people everywhere. They could benefit now, but it might be an issue later. From what I understand, the captain of the ship is the one that wrote down the letter. She was the one that Tori had read it to her. She said that, uh, the captain said that this was worthless, this man has no money. And just handed it back to her, sort of nonchalantly. But I don't know if that was a front. If they were already working on that information. All the more reason for us to move faster. You're a partner with the Merchant's Guild that holds mercantile weight. Get Gaunt to let you go up to the third floor. Maybe even say your business directly with Zenik. I did. I was talking about shipments of iron to see if there was anything else that they were sitting on they didn't tell me about. I was dealing with a man named Neath, who just wanted a percentage from the iron that he gave me from the products I made. Hmm. I was lucky enough not to lose silver, but I had to up my prices. However, I don't think there's any more iron to be had there either. But that ended a while ago. What if... That has Zenik's signature on it. Can we use that? We can. We could Perhaps forge... You could... Exactly. We, could for... we could rewrite the letter and forge it. Something damning to show him to his face. Let him know there's copies of it. And if he does right. anything outside of what you fucking direct him to, then you will make sure to everyone he owes money to that you will turn him upside down and let the dogs have at him. But if he obeys you, he can keep his secret. So, that begs the question, what do we want him to do? We need him to break the fuck away from the Capitano. He needs to cut off all dealings with the Capitano and his men. Even if he continues to subvert the market for himself, for now. We can deal with him later. Right. So By that's him actually not bad. By him can, giving a cut to the Capitano, him. he's losing money. If we convince mm. him to cut away from the Capitano, he'll get his residuals back, which 
to let him survive better if he's in as bad a position as it says he's in. But you need to hold the <clears throat> reins tightly on him. He needs to make sure he doesn't say why, otherwise that will alert the Capitano that there is someone specifically gunning exactly. for him. All right. Then I need to cover him. And he does very, ask why. That can be make vague. it very clear that somebody up top is not pleased with this or has found out or something along those lines. You're more versed in the mercantile world than I am. <clears throat> Alright. I need to go speak to Mark with them. Get this underway hopefully soon. Let's get it done right now, because he's going to need that contract back. Mm, right. Harry, go with him. Get that forged, and we'll meet back here in 10 15 minutes. We'll get this All over right. with. Greetings, Miss Sarah. Good morning to you both. What was that about? Um, one of the peasant farmers was tricked into a contract owing this merchant we've heard the name of before, Zenik, 33 silver. Um, this farmer signed it with a partner, and when Harry had gone out with that wagon and got attacked by those drow, he lost most of the goods. Those farmers were not able to pay them back. One of them fled and now all the debt's on one of them. He found out that this debt was from Zenik. And now we have his signature. I'd like to speak to Harry, if I can. About these draw. Sorry, I'm listening. It's fine. I'd like to speak to Harry, if I can, about these drow that attacked him. They just went to Vezrin's shop to do the forging. I'll wait until this is over. It seems Vezrin is troubled. If I see him before you do, I'll send him your way. Mm. <sighs> Fuck. My son, can you do me a favor? Mm. Up in my room, the desk on the left, there's a bit of, um, ginger root on there uh, for pain. Can you bring it to me? Yeah, sure. Thank you. If you haven't heard already, you should probably know the Carter's Guild was broken into. The Capitano and his men. Hi, all right, you know. Paula luckily is backed by a noble, so she's gonna raise hell about it. The cart. What happened there? Do you know? The reason why the guards broke in is because a cart went missing. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's the cart we found from the deal gone wrong. They know my self and sure it gets tied to it. They're knocking on the door. They, they just don't know how. Ah. I'll be right back, my dear. You okay? Is he all right? <clears throat> I just... I don't know. I guess I'm not used to being called pet names by Ch uh, Tezim. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to actually talk to you about some stuff, if that's okay. Mm. After all this. You're right, you seem a little antsy. There was a lot that happened last night. Why I wasn't around very much until the end. I'm sorry I almost wasn't there. No, I actually wanted to thank you for being there when you were. 
and thank you for understanding. I almost shot him. I know. Thank you for not. I... I almost... I didn't know what he was doing. I haven't told him that everyone else was there, but he knows I was there. I was ready with a throwing knife, too. I was going to do some terrible shit. He makes me nervous. Me too, but... It's complicated. We have to install in him the idea that drow aren't those kind of people that he thinks we are. I fucking hate drow. (laughs) I always crawl into my house, sit on my couch, eat my food. Pissing in your bed when you don't know about it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now he does. Oh, shit. Fuck you. Whoops. I don't feel bad for dragging my nuts across your face when you're asleep. (laughs) I wasn't asleep. Wait, which one was he speaking to? Yeah. (laughs) (sighs) Don't act like you're upset. You see what I'm talking about? (laughs) Yeah. Back on track. The Capitano is searching hard for Marin right now, and I think I know why. Might have to hide her at some point. Hopefully not. I need to go drop my armor off to get repaired. Um, I'm gonna leave my sword with you if you could get it sharpened. I'd be grateful. You got it. It, uh, it's on the table by the door. We found... A... Let's see, you can tell her. Sure. I'm talking too much. <clears throat> Impossible. Impossible? I'm talking all the time. Mm. Yeah, Unless do you, you like see us complaining? Words of wisdom. I mean... It's not really that bad, neither of you. Like father, like son, I guess. <sighs> right. Mm. We'll do business first. Um, last night, uh, I spotted a blacked out ship heading up the harbor. All the way up the, well, from the other side of the river that heads up to the north. In case you weren't aware, I picked up rumors that a lot of shipment supplies were coming in from Black Rock itself, which, as you know, is just across the channel. We believe that is how the shipments of Serenity and Spice are making their way into the province aboard these blacked out ships. Last night, we found it, finally, and we took the horse and rode up along the coast to see if we could figure out where they were docking. We came across what looks like a small hidden town amongst the cliff faces and the crags. They've been docking these ships and, we guess, unloading and loading cargo. It's not connected to any roads or anything of that sort. But I believe the plan is tonight, you, me, Torty, and Tizim will be going there to get a look over and see what they're doing and how many people are there. See if we can figure out a plan to deal with it. Mm. I'll be there. All right. Yeah. Also, they've been dropping off little skiffs as they go past Nautis, taking them into the docks here, unloading bits of uh, spice and whatnot too. Apparently Meron caught that yesterday. Oh, late at night, I should say. Mm. So that's how they're getting into the city, at least. But if we can stop this, we disrupt the, the spice operation for the Capitano, and if it goes well, we should have enough proof to put him in chains. Then his whole structure dismantles. No more Capitano. 
It's a lot of moving parts, though. And once we start, we can't stop until it's done. I think it'll work out. I hope so. Here's the other thing that Tizim hasn't been telling other people, though. <clears throat> we need a ship to get to Giwen. How much is a ship? A lot of gold. Or there's a perfectly good ship sitting in the hidden dock. The Sawtooth Company. You want to take that ship? No, that's not the sort. I'm talking about the hidden dock. That blacked out ship. Oh. Still docked there. Better. If we see. can. You want to take that ship? It would be anywhere upwards of 40 to 50 men, though, probably. We don't know. That's just on the ship itself, let alone what's in that little town. It would be a hard fight. It's a long shot, but when we look there tonight, we're going to try and gauge numbers and see if it's at least plausible. We'll have to see. But that's something that... Infiltration and stealing before they can even... Find out that the boat's gone. Probably have to fight half of the men at that point if we make it onto the ship without them seeing us and dispose of them quietly. What it's... we could do, if the men are asleep on the ship, we cut free and try to get as far away as we can. And you and I just go around <clears throat> taking care of them. It's a big ship. It has at least three masts, similar to the size of the Sawtooth Company here. The men themselves would be on the ship, and oh. they only operate at night time, so they'd be awake. Fuck. Yeah, I've been playing it through in my head. But we'll go and have a look tonight, see what we can figure it out. It's... Our priority is dismantling the Capitano. If we can get a boat out of it, fucking cool. But we're not going to risk ourselves for it. Again, that's just between you and right. me. So what was happening last night? Um, I made a shit ton of money. And things just got hundred times that more fucking complicated. Imperial, I swear to God, I'm going to see his badge on my belt before the end of this fucking season. Which one? That fucking fool sergeant. If he flicks his barbed tongue at me again, I'm going to make sure that I work with the Capitano and get him fucking butchered. What, what did he do? What did he say to you? Very smug about the fact that I was shot. Commented <laughs> that, uh... I didn't want him over by the forge, touching my things. And Severick... Severick's walking a thin line. Oh. Um, things got a hundred times worse. How? More complicated. Uh, worse is yet to be determined. Okay. I was doing a job for my boss, and... <sighs> I got snuck up on. Those drow that attacked Harry. One of them is a woman. A very old one. A matron of a house. Not just any old drow woman. She has a retinue of drow men. And they are currently <sighs> looking. Capitano's outside again. <laughs> God fucking. This is a military action, not just random slavers, then. This is the work of the matriarch. 
why there is a matron looking for slaves on the surface, I don't know. But I do know that they are looking for something or someone in particular, something old, that should not be in the hands of surface dwellers. And it's in this area. I know what immediately jumps to your mind. I guess I died at the door. I did live longer. <laughs> you good, Severick? Go out? Yeah, he went out the front, the way that you just came in. Okay. When I was going to go to see you. Oh, and the Capitano's here, so might want to be warned. Yep. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry. I guess anyone can just walk in. Go ahead. She is looking for something old that should not be in the hands of anyone on the surface. Mm hmm. It's in this area. Mm hmm. I think I know where it is, and I intend to get it and give it to her so she fucks off. I had to lie. I had to lie about something very dangerous and I need you to listen to me and have an open mind and understand that there is no delusion that I am trying to place. Okay. What I did was for your safety. <clears throat> I had to lie and tell her that the drow in Notus that are not in chains belong to me. All of them. That's she dangerous. plans to keep an eye. Yes, but it's more dangerous if she knew that someone like you existed and walked free. I gained respect. Hopefully she won't try anything funny, but I plan to get rid of her before she does. She'll be more interested in whatever it is that she wants or is looking for than she will be in you. But I need you to understand why I did what I did. You would not have stood a chance. <clears throat> I did the same thing to you in Ledford. <laughs> with Kat and Tarek, remember? I told you they belong to me. I get it. If you think it keeps me safe, then I, just didn't... I appreciate that. I do. I didn't want it to sneak up on you. Thank you for telling me. This time. I won't be telling the others. Okay. They are different. You are the closest thing that she would want. Flattering. She might not. I, I'm just being... I'm stating the fact. So you understand. To keep your face hidden for a while until I can confirm that she's gone. Because this isn't just a little problem. I'm scared.
And I'm scared she's going to take you and Torty and Vassarin and kill you after she's done playing with you. We won't let that happen. She'll be back. She will be back. And I need you to be ready to play a part that you will loathe. I don't know when. I'm going to tell her about the crystal. The gem that Vesrin has. I'm going to wing it and see if that's what she wants. You said someone very if not, old. Maybe something of someone. She said there's something here that's very old that should not be in the hands of surface dwellers. There's... it brings something to my mind. There was the talks about Iandel doing something and reaching out over to Edgemith Loss. Talking to or trying to touch something and something looked back at her. Something older than her and older and more powerful than Fulgriff, apparently. I wonder if the reason the Elven Rangers are here is to look for her. And, by extension, perhaps the Drow too. And if Eindel's not here, that would point to Fae. I guess we'll find out when she shows up again. She's taken an interest in me. I fucked up and snapped at her when I should have just... Shut the fuck up, but she called me a surface drow. It pissed me off. Whatever she wants, I intend to give it to her. Having them around, we won't even make it. Even if it's Faye. To Gwen. I am betting it's not. But if it is, we'll have a plan. We can kill her. I have... I have a secret card up my sleeve that I intend to explore more about. Please be careful. When the time comes, I'll let you know. <laughs> ah, it's far too late for that. I'm afraid. Okay. I trust you. I can trust you, right? You are one of the most important things to me in this lifetime, so far. Yes. Everything I do is with your safety in mind. And your wants. And your goals, what you've shared at least. I don't know if they've changed. Even if I don't approve of them. I want to support you because that's what makes me happy. Call me selfish. <sighs> Anything else? No. <clears throat> okay. How are you? Fully. Questioning my entire existence. Still. If that can count as an emotion. Um. Would you consider yourself a free thinking drow? Me. Mm. I'm. I'm barely a drow, Sarah, let's be honest. Oh, shut up. I like to think so. There are values and people I hold dear, and things I would hold more value over other things. There's a path I believe I'm on, but 
I think I'm free thinking. Why do you ask? The draw of the underdark follow strict code of the matriarch. You step out of line in multiple different ways, you will die or be disgraced, enslaved. That was my entire life up until I was brought here to the surface. I have tried to abide by those same laws up here, and it has gotten me nothing but trouble. Just recently, I have been provoked to do things differently, to go against the grain. And I don't know that's it. I can't get past that thought. What is against the grain? If you... I've been doing this shit for a long time. <laughs> I don't know. How do you even begin to talk about something like that? You've spent your whole life not going on. adhering to something that was just how it is. Now you've been thrown into a place where it isn't. I guess lost, maybe. Mm. It's like I'm drowning, but there's no burn in my chest. It's kind of floating around. I should pick a direction and start swimming, but um, I'm not good at swimming. I do know that for once, for some reason, my goal is not to return home and fight for it. Even though I need to, the ground is burning beneath our feet. But you don't know what your goal is, just that it's not that. I'm afraid to admit out loud. It's not like there's anyone here that would damn me for it. When I was down there, the matriarch, she was... pathetic. Nothing like I had idolized her to be. What she had let happen to her people the ones on the outskirts. I'd had enough. And I don't think I agree with her anymore. Your faith was broken. It's a hard thing to have down there, Faith. I feared her. Mm. I feared how smart she was. Dangerous she was, how she could outdo me in anything. Not just her, there are many women like that. And I've come to learn that not all of them are drow. I am angry to admit that the surface has changed me. But for once, I am 
trying to decide if it's maybe for the better or not. Free thinking drow. Hmm. Hmm. I can't say I fully relate. I don't know what it's like to be in that position and then have it all open up for you like that. <clears throat> it's nice to at least pretend you understand. Out of my peripheral, I can see your skin and at least know that some of you would get it, maybe mm. in a past life. I want to teach you, but... Mm. It hurts to talk about. The goddesses. If they're really so great, why do they let their people die in the ways that they are dying right now? Ah, that's an age-old question, that one. People ask the mm. same of Mithrax and Banir and... Probably even Sota, too. No one has a straight answer, though. The way they define gods. They are not gods if they let this happen. They're just children with magic toys. Now we're getting philosophical. <laughs> I was uh, talking to Arn last night. And he asked about you. He does not need to be worried about anyone but himself. He said, Rick the old man. How is she? And I said, she's struggling a little. And do you know what he said? Mm. She knows she's family, right? <sighs> I was about to answer, but... I realized I didn't actually know the answer to that question. Do you? I have never had one. Kylo, it's not that easy. Do I know that you care? Yes. But... I'm still trying to figure out what those feelings are. The last time I got too close to you, your inside started burning. Now that I can't. Last time to. I cared too much, you almost died. Like I said before, it's part of getting close to someone is you open yourself up for pain. And it depends on the person and how you feel about them, if it's worth it, I guess. But, know that we've opened ourselves up for that pain for you. You don't have to return it, obviously, that's up to you. But... Just something to think about, okay? I think I'm going to go to my perch, have a drink. Okay. I'm sure you have business. I'll be around if you need me, okay? I'll be back, I just... I'm sorry it's if that lot. was too much. It's not you. With a swish and a flourish, Seraph once again walks away and out the door towards her perch, a routine place where she watches the city from above. Always difficult sometimes to know if you're getting 
the full story from one like Saravith, one who, while the capture of Mirandel was taking place, chose to don the mask. A suitable visage for her, her true expression hid behind that mask, never known to the outside, never known to anyone but her. You consider, before moving on, if no one else knows, does even Saraveth know what really lies under the mask? These talks with Anna getting me fucking soft. <sighs> Has to be done. Later tonight, we need to have a talk. Something big just happened. Well, we'll probably, you'll probably hear about it earlier soon, but... We'll talk later. I have to go do something. Right. Could help. We all know what these things are. I'd be there. I don't want to know what he's thinking. Honestly, I cannot get in the mind of that. Morning. Hey. Summer. It's it's very disgusting. From what I hear, yeah, disgusting. Ah, good afternoon. What is it, Shuddy? It's afternoon already. Did you happen to work on Marcus last night? I dropped him off at the clinic. Apparently so, yes. Huh, I was well, everything good? Wait, what? Oh. Wait, Marcus got dropped off at the clinic? Uh, just some minor scrapes and stuff. I just, I guess I left him with your friends. Yeah, I saw her. Minor scrapes? What the hell happened? I'm unaware of it. Oh, well, it was fine. Orca tank? Bandits? No. Training accident. It's okay. I He was fine when I dropped him off. I just wanted an extra opinion. But if, if he's not in there, then he's already gone off somewhere. Mm. All right. All right. Uh, well, I mean, thank you for letting me know. I mean... Checking up on somebody. How's, um, how's the old man? He's recovering. However, especially from the shit that he's been through within the past, if he kept on wrangling around, I do not know how long he would have lasted. But he's fine right now. He's recovering. He's recovering fast and efficiently. The stitches, especially from what Ludwig did, should be fine. Hey. Uh, sure. so, Come here. Apparently, the uh, 
Let Tazim know that two guards just had it out over in the market and they just went to the Capitano about it. One of them was a lieutenant who went from a private to a lieutenant overnight, basically. The other one was a, one of the sergeants. Well, technically, I already do have something more than this. Do you have any names? <sighs> I'll be I didn't right get back. any. I'm gonna I had to, but I was basically right in the middle of it trying to break it up. Yeah, you, have to have you do that. <laughs> Good, man. Good point of math, though. Mm. 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 He said the lieutenant was new. You've got to just kind of bear a bit. Almost like he just jumped rank overnight. Makes sense. Right. Thank you. I could, yes. No problem. He wears a red sash. Apparently, the lieutenant. The owner of the bathhouse already had the seamstress make one of those for me. I like mine better. Speaking of the bad house, I guess I'm not popular for the night. No, no, I have no idea. Because I'm in dire need to making some medical splints. I'll probably have some done for tomorrow. We have timers. I'm here looking. Martin. Also, someone that I wanted to see. Uh, I'll make sure to get with you on some more fibers tomorrow then. People do it to me all the time. I think you're just as much a victim <coughs> of stupidity. I'll take a, you want to take people more fit for battle? Then? I'll take a. I'll take a oh, fuck. Army, no? I'll to take a what is he doing? He's doing devil horns behind the guard. I thought he was like measuring his head, you know, <laughs> to crush it. it was like a the old man bearing his full hand measurements, you know. Ugh, my fucking arm hurts, you know? I, need to know I feel like I, it's sore. <sighs> oh. What? Uh oh, uh -oh. this is never good. What are you doing? Does it? I am going to rescue a mercenary. I'm going to rescue a mercenary who has information I don't on know why one would have never Olmec Coppergut. The brother that came in armoured to the teeth and looking for a fight requested that I as a Reckoner uh, help him with the grudge that he has against my clan. Apparently someone decided to throw my name and have him exiled along with his family. So I'm intending to put them back together to right the wrong. So apparently there's a mess. Anyone that is willing to come with me would be more than appreciated. I'm going to be heading up towards the Temple of Asara, and I'm fairly certain with what we discussed. I'm more than likely going to encounter some orcs along the way. Well. I have to yeah, hurry back and keep an eye on what's taking song. place at the Merchants Guild. There's plenty going on, I'm not so sure. A if you're willing, weapons, but... when you look in there, it is a messer, a mace, and a spear. Excuse me? Good diesel. If you're willing to lend me a hand, I could use a scout. Oh, God. Orcs. You want me to give them <clears> a rather know the before the attack us, if we put it you? Night. I'll put it in your barrel. That's why I would ask the lad first. You able, uh, if I can wake Ingram from his stupor, I'll have him bring his crossbow. I need a few minutes first. Set of eyes to Linda. Morning, Mugavale, then. My weapon. Uh, what, did you just check in the barrel? What? I'm sorry, wait, what? Mm -mm, not yet. I need to go to the Merchant's Guild. Something might happen. Did you sharpen my sword? Not yet. I haven't had a chance. Fuck. What, what did you just add to the barrel? Uh, Stredge. It was... It was a messer, a spear, and a mace. Jesus One Christ, okay. Did he happen to have a hammer reforged? Is it right if I accompany Morden 
to see him? You asked me to. Alright. Was that a hammer reforge you said? Nothing on here. I asked, I asked a little while ago for Tizim when Dredge brought us a hammer. Instead of smelting it, I thought it'd be better to get it reforged. If you don't have it, it's fine. You'll have to ask him. Yeah. Uh, weapons. <laughs> yeah. Let me, uh, he's a bit busy. Let me quickly put my armor on and I'll come back out. Prepping for combat. I'll try my best to come out, but he did finish off the rest of that barrel, so it is going to take him a few moments. It's fine. I've purchased us some bandages to take along with us. If Ingram decides to show up, there'll be another three bandages, so total of eight. In the event something goes wrong, I don't know who else we can bring. I don't want to make the party too big, but I don't want it to be too small either. I'm failing to think of anyone else. Well, we're going with you, right? To show, show some willing. Dowie spirit. Aye. If you're willing. Uh, that means. Two, three, four. Finger shows up. Let me be five. Is that the Carter's Guild woman? Are you joining us? Gotta try this leather armor. Gotta try this leather armor out at some point. That'll be six then. I think that should be fine then. Six of us should do. Unless you're coming with as well. I can if you wish. I can help you. It's up to you. I will. Yeah, let's fuck up some orcs. And let us be off. Armor up, boys. Do be careful. 
I'll be inside the city walls for when you'll come right on back, just in case if any of you seem to be injured and need to be tended to quickly. <clears throat> oh, the intent yeah, is to head towards the cross keys and go from there. I'll meet you the intent is to go to the cross keys house, and go from there. there. I'll meet you there. Once we head to the cross keys, the first place I want to try and head to is the Temple of Asara. If they are injured, it is more than likely that that is where they have headed. If we can find any tracks of that beyond the cross keys, however, we may encounter whatever trouble they encounter and find a trail with which to follow. We're looking for a mercenary? So, aye. The name escapes me, I believe it was Rudy. He's a mercenary that works for the Mercenaries Guild. You try to think back, Morden, to the conversation you had with the man. You remember the name Rudy was what you think you remember. Excuse me. It's hard to tell, though. You're more focused on the fact that you actually have a hint. Honestly, astonishing. Always... The odds were never in your favor when you started this search. I'll meet you there. I'll be right back. I'm very... I'm very hesitant to renege on this lead. I drop ten silver at the mercenaries guild, asked them to try and find a dowie in amongst all the radio, and this Rudy happens to be the only one that may have a lead towards where they may be. So, if at all possible, I want to try and find him alive. Well, I'll do my best. <sighs> Be accompanying us, lad. Aye. Sorry, I'm late. That makes nine, then, I think. Unless I'm miscounting. Four, five, six, seven. Seven for the moment. Seven. Unless Ingram shows up, then it'd be eight. I believe Ingram yes. showed up. Oh. If you talked to him, didn't you? I did, but you know how it is, I think it's... It's after the, the last of the barrel. Mm, true. There she is! Get her! Ah, uh, no, I know I'm not wanted by Gowie. Yeah. What's up? I just... <laughs> okay, you scared me. <laughs> <laughs> work, work. Rolling for perception. Okay. With a six? You can't tell if that was a joke or not. There was laughter, but you <laughs> saw a stare in his eye. Haha, <laughs> nervous laughter, hee hee, ha <laughs> Anyway, what's going on? Why are you looking at me like that? Don't, don't look at me like that. <laughs> Heading out to uh, see if we can find someone. This is everyone, then let us go over again. <sighs> oh, okay. Have fun cutting off another beard then, I guess. Don't burn Nortis down. <laughs> I'm not going to cut off a beard. Oh, okay. I just assume. You already have to do that to someone. Have fun. Maybe you like one of your dollar fish. I had to do that to a little sprite that didn't know his place. Mm. I can't even grow a beard. Keep myself trimmed, uh, otherwise it's probably growing as long as the thane. Uh, get <clears> it a few <throat> centuries under your belt, I think you'll manage. I could probably squeeze something out. <clears throat> uh, if only I lived that long. Hell, if you believed some of the uh, concoctions, some of the Dowie merchants would sell you hair tonics and the like. Uh, yeah, who would believe know, that? Perhaps <laughs> if any of them actually worked. They don't. If any of them actually worked, then... Well. Raylan bought one back in, you know and tried it on me and nothing happened, so... <laughs> Perhaps you're just too young. Well, I'm like 80-something. I, I should have like a big bushy beard by now. You're eight, oh my God. If you think of that in terms of LPOs, 